tune into Nice Radio every Saturday at 7:30 a.m. for A View from the Outside, hosted by Brayton Horn. A View from the Outside takes a look at key issues affecting St. Vincent and the Grenadines and gives a global perspective on how these issues are viewed. Host Brayton Horn will examine a variety of topics to enlighten, stimulate debate, and explore solutions. Hear the facts, hear the real life stories. Here, a view from the outside. Join Brayton Horn at 7:30 a.m. every Saturday on Nice Radio for a view from the outside. This society needs a spectacle. It might help us to see some evil. This society needs a spectacle. On a- On a view from the outside this week, this week being the 25th of February 2023, we take some time to pause and reflect. In the very first program for 2023, we, here on a view from the outside, covered the topic aid and abet, with the view being that some people perform roles which aid and abet the main perpetrator or perpetrators of crime or injustice without addressing their minds, in some cases, perhaps, to the fact that they are complicit in the act and could, later in life, be held accountable for aiding and abetting the commission of that crime or injustice. Today, we remind you of that program. Since we cover that program, have you paused to reflect and to identify those who aid and abet? Perhaps, if you haven't, then now may well be the time to do so. Spot the aiders and the betters. Have you spotted them? Have a look and see how those aiders and abettors continue to add to the woes of the Vincentian people. Have a look and see how they continue to add to your own woes. Do you aid and abet? And do you add to the woes of your own people? If you do, does your conscience not prick you? Let's hope that this reminder causes you to do the right thing by your country, for your country, and your people. On Saturday, the 11th of February, 2023, we covered the topic, listen, and we ask whether anyone in authority takes the time to listen to the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Since that program, Have you seen any evidence that they listen? Have they told you that they listen? When they tell you that they listen, do you believe them? Is there any evidence that they actually listen? Is there any evidence that they listen when Cornelius John continues to languish without justice? And when those accused of having beaten him and shot him on his own property continue to enjoy the spoils of the state? Is there any evidence that they listen when those accused of peddling in excess of 60 kilograms of cocaine are charged in the magistrate's court and not the high court? where the sentence would be much more severe? Can they say that they listen when they continue to heavy-handedly curtail the constitutional rights of the people in the country? Does to listen mean to stop people, stop the citizens from legitimately protesting against the atrocities taking place in the country? Certainly not. Does to listen mean to victimize those who do not support you? Certainly not. 
Does to listen mean to unleash the power and the might of the police on defenseless citizens? Certainly not. Does to listen mean to continue not to reinstate hundreds of police officers, teachers, nurses, doctors, customs officers, and other public servants whom you have fired for not taking the COVID-19 vaccine? You can't be listening. You can't have listened. Does to listen mean to dredge up all sorts of draconian colonial laws to punish the citizens of the state, to punish the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines? Certainly not. Does to listen mean to condemn imperialism and colonialism when it suits you, but resort to colonial tactics, some used in the days of slavery to suppress and oppress the people of our country, the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, especially those of African descent? Does to listen mean to continue to deplete the meager resources of the country? And when people demand accountability, your attitude is, how dare they? Certainly, that is not evidence of listening. That is not evidence that you have listened. Does to listen mean to suck the NIS dry and leave pensioners or would-be pensioners with the uncertainty of not knowing whether they will receive a pension when they retire? When you do that, are you saying that you listen to the people? Does to listen mean to try to interfere with the magistracy and the judiciary and other arms of justice in the country to suit your own ends? Certainly not. Does to listen mean to launch an assault on women, especially the women who are courageous enough not to turn a blind eye to the corruption taking place in the country? Certainly not. Does to listen mean to lock up pensioners, senior citizens, including women, who dare to oppose you? Certainly not. You cannot have listened. You cannot be listening. Does to listen mean to expend resources to wantonly arrest and abuse defenseless people? When the country is awash with cocaine, guns, gun crimes, and where nearly 75% of all murders or homicides committed in the country remain unsolved? It cannot be that you have listened. Or it cannot be that you are listening. Does to listen mean to manhandle and arrest a senior citizen? A pensioner, is that what it means to listen? How on earth does any of all of that mean that you're listening to the concerns and the fears of the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines? How? Vincentians, inaction clearly has emboldened them. Your inaction has emboldened them. Sitting back and not challenging them clearly has not worked. Holding your head down and letting fear seize you has not worked. Remaining silent has not helped you. Remaining silent and do nothing only serve to embolden them even more. Are you going to allow them to continue to use their arbitrary laws and their wantonness to keep you silent and to silence you? Has the time not come to join together and support one another and take action together? Has that time not come? Is that time not now? You, Vincentians, have to change. 
in order to get the change which is desperately needed in the country. It is up to you, it is up to all of us, to do what is necessary and right to protect, preserve, and save the country, the blessed country, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, from descending further into the abyss. Angela Davis, political civil rights activist, said, I am no longer accepting the things I cannot change. I am changing the things I cannot accept. Until next week, this is Britton Horn with a view from the outside, with a reminder to send your feedback as usual to a view from the outside at hotmail.com. You can also get us on Facebook at a view from the outside and on YouTube at JMB Horn. Have a pleasant Saturday, have a wonderful Sunday, and have a week ahead, fruitful and productive, as we continue to remind ourselves of the courage that it takes to bring about change, of the courage that it takes to change the things that we can no longer accept.